What is up, y'all? This is CK. I have a usually very stealth coworker with me here, <laughs> um, Tyler Evans. He is the builder in the BTC magazine and the, the Bitcoin uh, media operation. Tyler, why don't you introduce yourself? I know you're going to be talking about Lightning. You're going to be talking about Carrot. Um, but why don't you tell people who you are? Yeah, <laughs> thanks, CK. And I'm uh, super pumped to be here to talk about Carrot today. It's something we've been uh, working on for quite a while um, in kind of a, a stealthy alpha version. And uh, we're finally ready to uh, uh, make a little bit of noise around it and, and uh, unveil it to the world. So um, like CK mentioned, my name's Tyler Evans. I'm uh, one of the founders and the CTO of BTC Inc., the parent company of Bitcoin Magazine, and now also of Carrot. Awesome. So I guess, why don't you tell people what Carrot is? And I know you have a presentation and a demo, and then we're going to do some Q&A. Yeah. So I've got a, a little show and tell here to walk folks through Carrot today and, and what the platform actually does. But we built Carrot really as a way to get Bitcoin into the hands of more people. Um, you know, looking at, at um, our audience at Bitcoin Magazine and just the opportunity for Bitcoin globally, you know, we think that uh, the most of the world's population won't buy Bitcoin with fiat from their bank account. Um, they'll earn it instead. And Bitcoin is really the perfect, you know, online digital money to use for an online ecosystem like Carrot. Um, so we built Carrot really <clears throat> as a tool to let anyone turn their time, their reputation, their social media following, their online influence. Um, all these things that they can contribute with only um, uh, internet access from anywhere in the world uh, into Bitcoin by channeling those um, energies or that resource into productive things. Um, and so ultimately, we built Carrot to be a platform to give a billion people their first Bitcoin by letting them uh, uh, work for it or contribute something pro productive for it. Um, but we've got a, a long ways to go to get there. We're starting um, with a more narrow version as Carrot as really a rewards platform where Bitcoiners like us can get rewarded for um, supporting the companies and, and doing things online that we'd already do anyway, like uh, making memes or uh, tweeting about our favorite brands and earning Satoshis back for um, doing those things online. Well, let's just jump into your presentation. This is all right, so I'm. <laughs> What's that, CK? So this is Technical Tuesday, so we're concerned <laughs> about the tech. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna uh, share my screen here, um, and walk you guys through uh, a little bit of um, uh, carrot at eye level, but also specifically uh, kind of how we're building on on Lightning and and uh, how we're using Lightning at at Carrot. Um, so uh, I, I talked about Carrot a, a little bit kind of in, in broad strokes. Um, and so kind of from that, that big picture vision of, you know, pushing hyper Bitcoinization and uh, getting more people in the world uh, to use and, and to hold Bitcoin ultimately. Um, we're starting with Carrot as kind of that rewards platform where um, companies like Bitcoin Magazine, uh, can post a, a bounty or a payout or reward to their followers for um, doing different things online and, and reward their audience or their fans that way. Um, you know, when, when we uh, started working on Carrot, the uh, possibilities for the different types of things we wanted to um, incentivize or support on uh, Carrot uh, started getting long pretty quickly. Um, you know, here's a, a couple of those different ideas that um, we've been working on internally at Bitcoin Magazine. But for any uh, media company or any open source software project, or really any type of um, brand that wants to build an online community, 
Uh, there's all sorts of things that you want your fans to do organically, um, whether that's just following and supporting you on social media or giving you feedback on your product or um, you know, creating memes about your, uh, your product. Um, and so we decided to kind of focus on a couple use cases that we were gonna dog food uh, internally with Bitcoin Magazine. Um, and, and so those, those four big use cases um, are listed on the left there. You know, one of the uh, funnest ones we piloted with Carrot was just hosting a, a meme contest for Bitcoin Magazine, where we gave away, uh, I think, 100,000 sats uh, to the winner, to our, our favorite couple memes submitted uh, to the Bitcoin Magazine Twitter account. And in about 24 hours, we had I think over a hundred uh, memes submitted that uh, generated a, a ton of traffic and eyeballs on on that tweet for us. The uh, another really cool um, initiative that Bitcoin Magazine piloted with Carrot <clears throat> was around supporting open source development uh, with Bitcoin Core, and so um, Bitcoin Core uh, or Bitcoin Magazine put up a, a $500 or 5 uh, million Satoshi grant for people to make the first time contributions to um, Bitcoin Core. And uh, we saw a ton of interest, uh, a ton of conversation, and then really a, a lot of activity around this uh, use case uh, almost as soon as it went up. Um, we had five people come and, and uh, uh, you know, submit their legit contributions to core and and claim those grants um, within a couple of weeks and this also uh, stirred up a whole lot of conversation about you know what are the best ways to support open source development what are the ways to support bitcoin core um, and really some deeper questions that uh, we uh, needed to unpack more um, but ultimately you know this was a, a really successful um, pilot program in terms of just Kind of harnessing the energy around doing, uh, you know, a, a open source kind of uh, tragedy of the commons a contribution to Bitcoin Core, and um, letting a, a company like Bitcoin Magazine uh, play a, a small part in incentivizing that. And um, with some feedback from some uh, awesome technical folks like Nihan Narula at MIT um, and some other core contributors. Uh, we've got a lot of ideas how we could refine this type of task to be more effective for Bitcoin Core in the future, um, and also how we could potentially extend this to other open source projects, uh, maybe in the Lightning universe or even with uh, BTC Pay Server. Um, and I think for Bitcoin Core specifically, um, the feedback we got from the community is, is uh, to change this type of grant to really incentivize uh, reviewing pull requests or existing contributions to core um, and that that was kind of the bottleneck around uh, core development right now, uh, not just, you know, the existence of new contributions, but actually all the quality control and testing um, and review that goes into adding any new feature um, into Bitcoin core and maintaining that backwards compatibility. Uh, so this should be pretty obvious, but you know, why, why are we using Bitcoin for carrot? Well, it's the, you know, perfect, uh, global, uh, natively digital money for us to be able to pay out, um, micro payments to people all over the world. Um, you know, f uh, carrot is, uh, you know, a purely, purely, um, uh, Bitcoin site, uh, all the accounting runs in Satoshi's even, um, and all of the payments are processed on the Lightning Network today. Um, and what that means we, is that we can pay micropayments, uh, you know, an average transaction size of about $2.50 um, that wouldn't even be profitable to do if you were running on a traditional credit card or ACH rail um, to people in uh, uh, tens of countries all around the world um, instantly. And that's really the the power and the magic of the Lightning Network for us. Um, uh, one cool stat, the, the smallest invoice we paid is 16 Satoshis. So just fractions and you know minuscule fractions of a cent. And we're able to uh, pay that out and 
um, process these transactions with very, very low routing fees um, anywhere in the world uh, instantly. And it, you know, Lightning for us in this context really lets us um, kind of fulfill a lot of what the promise was for Bitcoin originally that got so many people excited about it. A nearly instant, nearly free way to pay uh, people anywhere in the world, regardless of what their local currency is or whether they have a bank account or where they live. Um, it just works like the internet. And uh, our experience at Carrot uh, building on Lightning like this has been pretty magical so far. So uh, I thought the best way to, to show off Carrot for uh, everyone would actually be to do a, a little show and tell demo here. Um, so one of the the uh, different task types we support at Carrot is, is a Carrot code, um, which is uh, almost like a, a promo code that earns you Satoshis. And so uh, it's almost like a, a digital IOU or a bearer bond um, that you can redeem for sats uh, through Carrot. And so we created this uh, uh, Carrot code here, Tech Tuesday, all one word, um, that you can actually type in at earncarrot.com and get yourself 10,000 sats or about a buck. Um, so if you visit this link here, earncarrot.com slash redeem um, and sign in with an, uh, uh, an email address, you can redeem that code um, and uh, give Carrot a, a test run for yourself. Um, so if you're, if you're watching live, uh, please do that and uh, let us know how it works. I'm gonna leave this code up on the screen for just a minute more uh, before I move on to give everyone a chance to redeem it. Um, you know, this uh, carrot code, it's kind of a, a byproduct of some of the different task types we wanted to support. It wasn't something we were considering building for carrot initially, uh, but as we've used it for more and more different use cases, including um, incentivizing people to engage in live content, just like this uh, presentation we're having now. Um, the, the use cases and the applications um, that uh, it applies to just keep growing. And uh, it is truly a magical concept that I can share, you know, this, this string of numbers and letters, this alphanumeric code with you. Um, and no matter where you are in the world, if you've got a, a smartphone or an internet connection, you can take that code, that information, and translate it into money on uh, the most global, uh, uh, most reliable payment network in existence. Uh, truly a, a great application for Bitcoin. All right, <clears throat> I'll keep moving, but uh, we'll come back to this uh, code if anyone still needs it uh, at the end of this presentation. So uh, I touched a little bit on Lightning Network already, but Carrot uses Lightning as our uh, main payment rail in order to um, process all the withdrawals from Carrot today. And so uh, Carrot has its own interning, internal accounting system. Um, it's kind of a custodial system for the companies like Bitcoin Magazine that are posting bounties and, and rewards. So when Bitcoin Magazine wants to post a new, uh, a new bounty for users to do, they'll fund that in Carrot and deposit Bitcoin with Carrot and uh, set a budget for that bounty or for that Carrot code, for example. Um, and then internally, as users uh, complete that bounty or as they re redeem the code or as they do different actions on the Carrot site, they have an internal um, uh, balance that we're tracking on the on the carrot system that's basically you know uh, just an internal database but working like a custodial wallet for them where uh, each time they do uh, uh, something new on carrot we're incrementing that uh, internal balance and then at any time um, a user can request a withdrawal from that wallet page which is processed over the lightning network and so, you know, the, the cool part about using Lightning is we don't have to have any, uh, enforce any minimum transaction sizes like uh, most traditional FinTech apps would need to, you know, there's no 
uh, five or ten dollar minimum you have to earn before we're able to uh, process a transaction for you. Um, even if you earn less than a penny, uh, it doesn't matter to uh, the Lightning Network, and and we can pay those invoices. Um, so how that withdrawal flow works is uh, once you've got a, a balance in the carrot wallet and you want to move it to a, a different wallet or you know spend it on bit refill to buy a gift card or uh, you know, use it in, in somewhere else. Uh, we're using a, a, the web LN spec um, in order to process these payments. And so uh, this part of Lightning is, is still a little bit clunky and it's a, a part of the UX that um, we definitely want to improve over time. And we've got some ideas how this could be um, streamlined more into the, the background so it's not such a, a manual process. But today what it looks like is you um, just open up a, a Lightning wallet, whether that's uh, Strike or Wallet of Satoshi um, or Breeze wallet or you know pick, pick your favorite wallet. And uh, you actually need to generate an invoice in that wallet so type in how, how many um, sats you're trying to withdraw from Carrot, and then you'll take that invoice and um, paste it in this little pop-up here uh, on the Carrot withdrawal site. Um, so again, this, this piece uh, isn't super smooth today, mostly because we do uh, rely on invoices um, rather than being able to just push out payments uh, one at a time. But uh, you know, once you have an invoice, uh, the, the payments um, can happen instantly and some of the routing hints in there, et cetera, help us uh, to be able to pay out a, a really a pretty high six percentage of these invoices uh, successfully on the first, um, first attempt. So we'll take that invoice um, and then we have our own uh, lightning node that's um, running in a data center somewhere. And we'll uh, parse that invoice, you know, extract all the different bits of information um, for being able to route a payment to you specifically, and also uh, validating the amount, you know, that you have the, the right balance to be able to withdraw from Carrot. Um, and then <clears throat> once we've extracted and, and parsed all that, as long as there's no issues, um, we pay those invoices instantly, uh, 24 hours a day. And um, so we're using a, a RPC connection to that node um, to be able to send out those payments um, directly, you know, from from Carrot to the users. And uh, you know, like I mentioned, the the success rate on our payments has been uh, really higher than I expected so far. You know, I, I uh, knew there was going to be some um, some uh, probably some routing and liquidity headaches that we need to, uh, you know, manage to handle on our end to make this user experience really smooth for um, users, particularly for non-technical folks who maybe don't have experience with Bitcoin before, or maybe there's a, a first time using Lightning, and there is still a, a decent learning curve to some of this technology, especially uh, because we are um, requiring people to, to paste, uh, to, you know, generate and paste an invoice from the wallet of their choice. Um, but, you know, by and large, payments are, are working uh, very well. And, and even with kind of the handful of channels that we have opened to different uh, big routing hubs on the Lightning Network and with the liquidity that we're kind of uh, basically managing manually at this point. Um, we've been able to process almost 2,000 uh, invoices and lightning payments um, so far from Carrot uh, over the last couple months. All right, well, that is the uh, kind of Carrot at a very high level. I know we've got some time for Q&A at the end, um, and we can talk more about Lightning specifically. But I also thought um, the best way to kind of get everyone uh, familiar with the platform um, and thinking about all the different ways that Carrot could be used would be actually to um, put up a, a reward um, live uh, while we're doing this presentation. 
So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, is walk you through kind of the back end uh, admin interface for Carrot. And we're going to post a, a new survey <clears throat> that is uh, feedback on this Technical Tuesday talk. Uh, let, let everyone uh, rate and review the talk and uh, offer a, a bounty of sats for folks to do that. So I'm gonna get out of uh, uh, Google Slides here and switch over to um, the, forest, uh, the forest admin carrot backend. So this is the uh, uh, kind of the dashboard where we're um, driving all the different uh, tasks and rewards that you see on the carrot site here. Um, so here's the, uh, the Tech Tuesday code that I um, mentioned on the earlier slide. And we're gonna go ahead and put up a new uh, survey from Bitcoin Magazine right now. So I'm gonna do that here uh, through the admin interface. I'm logged in as a, a administrator of Bitcoin Magazine here, which gives me the, the powers to be able to do this. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just uh, create a new bounty here um, under Bitcoin Magazine. And for this uh, uh, survey, let's pay out 5,000 sats. And we're gonna call this uh, Carrot Tech Tuesday Feedback. So um, here's the kind of all the all the fields I'm gonna fill out for this survey. Um, this works kind of like a CMS for uh, a blog or an online e-commerce store. Um, so I'm just gonna put it in a, an image in a description real quick. <clears throat> and uh, upload an image here from uh, earlier today. Let's use that one. And we're gonna call this uh, Tech Tuesday Feedback. <clears throat> and then under the, the type here, you know, there's different types of bounties and different integrations that Carrot can support. Um, I talked about the carrot codes a little bit earlier. For this one, uh, we're actually gonna uh, do a survey and we're gonna use Typeform as the survey um, provider here. So in Typeform, um, in my uh, uh, Typeform account, I created this little survey earlier today um, asking people to rate the talk and uh, let us know any feedback or, or questions about carrot. And so I'm just gonna copy and paste the link to this survey and uh, embed that here as the call to action that I want people to um, fill out in order to uh, be able to receive this reward. Um, we'll set a, a expiration. Um, I want all the feedback to come in by the end of this week. And this is a very easy survey to fill out. Should take two minutes or less. <clears throat> And then there's a couple options down here, mostly dealing with uh, what, what visibility you want for this task and what, um, what type of moderation options you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this task. <clears throat> it's been uh, created here as a uh, draft task. And the next thing I need to do is just um, come over here and uh, tell the task I want it to go live. And as part of that, I need to set a, a budget for this task, which is um, you know, the amount of max number of sats I wanna pay out for responses here um, that is kind of enforced by the um, uh, carrot accounting rules and also how much I've already deposited on the platform in order to pay out. So because we said uh, uh, 5,000 sats is gonna be the reward for this, um, I'm gonna budget for a hundred users. So we'll call it five, 500,000 sats. And all I need to do is uh, hit go live here. And uh, now it says listing should be published live. And if I flip back to uh, uh, the Carrot site, now we've got Carrot Tech Tuesday feedback live here. This, uh, this page may be taking just a minute to go live. So 
<clears throat> while, uh, while that page builds, uh, I'll talk a little bit about um, kind of how the, the task verification works in Carrot. Um, so we built Carrot you know, to be a flexible uh, general purpose platform uh, to be able to support all sorts of bounties and, and rewards and use cases. And so um, that means for uh, verifying whether or not someone's uh, earned a bounty, you know, there's different programmatic ways we can check that, uh, but there's also just a, a manual um, verification or review. And so uh, how that works is that when someone uh, completes a, a bounty or a task on Carrot, all that data is captured um, like in type form for the survey. And it's also captured in the back end here for um, the, the creator who set up that bounty or reward to be able to view all the different survey responses um, and to be able to you know, manually approve or verify which ones they wanna pay out for. Um, so you know, this is kind of how we've ran uh, like the meme contest or the Bitcoin magazine um, open source uh, project where we had uh, uh, people submit all sorts of uh, data or pull requests or memes to us here and our team uh, manually reviewed those and, and picked the, uh, you know, our, our favorite ones or the ones we thought were um, most helpful for Bitcoin Core um, and uh, paid them out through this back end here. So I'm just going to uh, refresh the browser here. Um, uh, this task is uh, uh, still still building. Um, but if you uh, uh, create a, a carrot login, which is really just a, an email address. Um, uh, and log in, you should be able to browse all these different um, tasks we have up right now. You know, check out the site, explore a little bit. You can see some of the stuff that's uh, live right now, like uh, investing in Bitcoin with Swan and earning sets back through Carrot or um, earning interest on your uh, dollars or stable coins with Linus and getting a bonus from uh, Carrot or reporting a bug to our friends at staking. Um, and earning some sats for that through Carrot, um, as well as some of the different uh, uh, projects we put up with Bitcoin Black Friday or Bitcoin Magazine. Um, so uh, I'd encourage everyone uh, log in to uh, Carrot, give these a look, um, see what uh, uh, you want to do, see what you can provide feedback on, and go earn your first sats today. Uh, and hopefully, we'll make it easy. Um, so with that, I will uh, uh, cut it back to CK and uh, uh, answer any questions you guys have about the platform. Christian, I think, uh, I think you're on mute. I'm not hearing you. Oh, hey, sorry about that. There we go. Am I, am I back? Yeah. Um, and also, I feel like uh, we need to do a, a quick uh, adjust. I need to do a quick adjustment there, uh, Justin. Uh, we're getting double Tyler on the screen. Um, that may have been my fault. Um, hey, so let's get into this first question, Tyler. Like, f based on your experiences building with Bitcoin and Lightning, like, what what have you learned? What was your experience kind of getting dirty, like in in building Carrot on the outset? You know, uh, <clears throat> with uh, with Carrot so far, <clears throat> you know, a, a lot more of the development time and the work has actually gone into kind of the consumer facing application uh, rather than the the lightning pieces of it. Um, you know, the, I've been playing with uh, uh, different lightning apps and and you know running a node for quite a while now and over the last um, couple of years, even the last 12 months, the quality of the documentation and the tooling um, and on kind of the, the ease of use has really gotten a lot better. So um, for our team, it was it was really pretty easy. You know, we already had a, a node running. So we just 
kind of uh, used a couple of the different um, great lightning uh, Node.js libraries out there to communicate with it and, you know, uh, did a little bit of configuration in terms of authentication and the SSL handshake and all the, all the uh, pieces you need to connect the pipes to the lightning node. Um, but once you have that connection established and that node up and running and funded, uh, then, you know, you can send and move money uh, with a few keystrokes, which uh, really, again, is magical if you take a step back. I need to stop muting myself. Um, talking about Lightning um, in terms of funding the node and then it just, the network just works. Like I remember even eight months ago, people were having issues, you know, routing payments of different sizes. People are still experimenting with Satoshi's place. People were largely using custodial stuff. Like, can you talk about like the reliability of the network and what kind of payments uh, you, you feel like you can reliably send through it? And uh, yeah, I guess any other thoughts around the network as a whole? Yeah, you know, one thing that's, um, you know, that's interesting about uh, uh, Carrot composed compared to most other Lightning apps out there is, you know, our liquidity is kind of going in the opposite direction of most people. So where, you know, most most users on Lightning may get a, a Lightning wallet, they may want to fund it, they may want to open a channel to um, a BTC pay server uh, store or uh, to bit refill or to somewhere else where they're spending their stats and they're decreasing that budget over time. You know, Carrot's actually on the, the kind of, opposite liquidity stream where we're paying out to those end users and we're, um, you know, helping them kind of rebalance that liquidity. And so uh, maybe it's a, a function of that, that we are kind of, uh, uh, you know, providing outbound payments generally, um, but the uh, routing and the liquidity um, we've experienced has really been pretty good. Now, the there's a couple caveats to that, you know, one, um, big kind of user pain point is when people are trying Carrot for the first time, if they're using a non-custodial wallet, um, so they just downloaded uh, Zap for the first time, let's say, and they don't have any channels open, um, then of course we can't, uh, we can't route to those users. And so um, we need to either open a channel to them directly, or we need to help coach them a little bit either with something like autopilot or um, to get connected to one of those bigger nodes on the, the uh, lightning network like Bitfinex or um, uh, you know, BitRefill or one of these existing hubs that we're connected to um, for us to be able to route to them. So uh, you know, if it's your first time and you have a non-custodial wallet, um, a lot of those payments will fail and a lot of those users you know, haven't used Lightning before. And so um, there's uh, uh, definitely a learning curve there. One of the listeners and viewers inside YouTube, Patrick, uh, I let me see if I can pronounce his last name wrong, Pellegrino. Uh, Patrick, he asked, will Carrot always use the Lightning Network? And the reason why he asked is because he has less savvy friends that uh, may think it's difficult. You know, <laughs> Carrot, uh, Carrot is always planning to use Lightning Network, uh, and it's especially as um, where the on-chain Bitcoin fees are today, and where we think we'll go as they'll go as Bitcoin gets more popular and as the price goes up. Um, you know, uh, it would be uh, uh, just in a, inefficient. Um, and ineffective for us to uh, run run carrot on chain at this point. We'd have to institute, you know, a, a minimum payout size and and probably start passing along those on chain fees to the actual users, kind of like some of the exchanges have started to do. Um, and so that's a poor experience compared to um, the uh, uh, learning curve of setting up a Lightning wallet for for the first time, you know, the, there's definitely still a learning curve to doing that, but the uh, wallet options are getting better. And there's a lot of smart people working on making that experience even better. 
Um, and so, you know, at the rate things are going today in the next, you know, over the next 12 months, I think we'll see a ton of innovation in the Lightning wallet space, as well as things like um, Neutrino that keep improving that make it so uh, running a non-custodial node or, or wallet um, gets easier and easier and uh, less resource constraining and um, easier to set up even on a mobile device. So, you know, we're, we're uh, definitely betting big on the future of Lightning here um, and, uh, you know, uh, have a front row seat to how Lightning can scale to actually be able to serve uh, millions of people with micropayments. Awesome. And I see people are, are are in the chat getting dirty with Carrot. They're poking holes into everything on the website. So sending you feedback over Slack, uh, Tyler. Uh, and thank you for everyone who's checking it out. Uh, we appreciate it. We just went from alpha to beta. So, um, you know, still working things out, but appreciate y'all's feedback and interaction with uh, the product. And, you know, ultimately when we are fully, fully live, uh, we expect to have a much more robust product. Tyler, any any comments on that? Yeah, so we we do have a, a carrot task up. That's a survey. That's a, a bug report. So um, we'll even pay you out for uh, real helpful submissions. So if you find something that looks out of place, drop it there or uh, drop it in the chat box, um, and our team will uh, appreciate your guys's help in uh, QAing all of this. So like, let's talk about lightning. Like, obviously you guys are betting on lightning. You see lightning as the future and you've been impressed by lightning. Where can lightning be improved right now? I think uh, that wallet layer is a, a big piece of it. Just, um, you know, simplifying that and uh, making it um, uh, easier to use for, easier to use and easier to understand for, um, uh, newcomers, I think is uh, a, a big piece of it. You know, the other thing um, that we've been thinking a lot about is just kind of the whole um, invoice payment flow um, that we're using today, uh, which is, is definitely non-optimal. And so um, different ways that we can, uh, you know, interact with uh, people's Lightning wallets, you know, using the web LN spec is a big piece of that. But for folks who have browser extension wallets or a desktop wallet that can open a lightning URL automatically. Um, and some of the different proposals out there like LN URL, you know, ideally um, we can make this so that this whole experience happens uh, in the background uh, without any uh, manual copy and pasting of, of strings or codes or invoices or addresses and that you could just, you know, hit withdraw to my wallet, one click, you know, choose your wallet, it pops it up, boom, you have your balance in there um, and making that experience uh, even better for users. Um, and we'd also love to be able to offer a, a way for people to log into or create an account with um, Carrot using Lightning as their form of authentication. That's one of the, the more uh, out there ideas we've been looking at. Yeah, I, I've heard some very bullish takes on Lightning as a form of authentication rather than um, rather than using an email address or sign in with Google or even sign in with MetaMask is what's kind of happening with Ethereum. Um, mm -hmm. But using Lightning as a form of authentication is uh, something that's bullish. Patrick is asking, is there an app in the future of Carrot? So we've we've thought about a, an app a little bit. You know, our goal with uh, carrot is to reach as many users as possible. And so uh, if, if an app <coughs> uh, helps us do that, then definitely, you know, one thing we're cognizant of though, um, and, and the feedback we've got from some other companies working in the space is just the, the challenge of some of the closed garden um, uh, ecosystems, like getting on the Apple app store. You know, Apple's got a strong interest in pushing people to do all their payments with Apple Pay and uh, to letting people, you know, only buy things through their services where they get to extract their pound of flesh for being in the Apple ecosystem. Um, so that's why we went web first uh, and also for kind of the speed of iteration that we can get on the open web. 
um, rather than being locked into a, a walled garden like that. I see cool. we've uh, already got <clears throat> about 10 responses to the survey I posted, actually almost, uh, almost 15. So uh, that's great to see that it's working from some of y'all, keep it coming and I'll go through and uh, uh, approve some of these payouts so y'all can get your stats right away. Yeah, hey, there's a, a lot of Bitcoiners are excited about what you're building here, Tyler. I think that there's a lot of potential. So speaking of like what has impressed you the most about how people have used Carrot, how Bitcoin Magazine has used Carrot so far? You know, I, I talked a little bit about that kind of open source development um, pilot that Bitcoin Magazine did with uh, Bitcoin Core. Um, that was uh, definitely uh, the most impactful um, bounty we've seen on Carrot so far, just in terms of the engagement and the discussion at Startup. Um, so, you know, uh, we've looked a lot at, at uh, like Gitcoin on Ethereum, super cool, similar funding model where uh, grants are being used to support um, a lot of those kind of core pieces of the Ethereum ecosystem. And, you know, there's nothing like that uh, for Bitcoin uh, today. Um, at least on that scale in terms of um, helping fund and, and coordinate resources among all the awesome projects and initiatives out there. So that's something I'm really passionate about with Carrot uh, that I would love to see happen is, is uh, Carrot to be a platform or a channel or almost even a, a DAO for people to kind of self-organize and build a community around helping some of these awesome uh, open source projects we have in the space um, that will ultimately help make Bitcoin better and more usable. So who should be using Carrot? Like who should be getting really excited in jumping into Carrot, whether it's a business or a user? Well, uh, you know, as a, as a way to support uh, open source development like that, almost anyone, but really for uh, any company that's spending money on a marketing budget, uh, today, which is almost all of you, uh, you know, Carrot is a way for you to be able to take that marketing budget and instead of spending it with a third party like uh, Google or Facebook, um, where you're paying them for eyeballs, Carrot's a way you can infuse that marketing budget into your community, into your true fans and pay out, you know, your most passionate active users um, and, you know, divert that marketing budget from a uh, big tech corp to uh, the people that actually care about what you're doing. So uh, I would say for anyone in the, the Bitcoin space that is uh, marketing, you should be using Carrot to market. Try something small, you know, try a, a contest, pay people to tweet about your brand or join your email subscriber list or follow you on uh, YouTube. Um, but, you know, let people interact with your brand directly instead of just uh, uh, spending that with uh, another big tech co. Awesome. Um, well, I mean, that's kind of all the questions I have for you here. Um, it's been really fun kind of like walking through Carrot with you. It was really awesome to see the back end. I know a lot of people in the chat were kind of geeking out at that and uh, getting stoked. Uh, any last words or calls to action for uh, the Bitcoin Magazine audience? Yeah, so two, two big ones. Obviously, try it out. Let us know how it goes. I mentioned the different ways you can give us uh, feedback or um, report bugs if you have any. Um, so please, uh, please uh, uh, let us know how we can help. The other big one, though, is we just opened up our uh, wait list today for um, creators and brands to come on the platform. And uh, we did love to get all the companies that are supporting the Lightning ecosystem uh, plugged into Carrot and, uh, you know, spending their marketing budget um, with their community, uh, like I mentioned. So um, please uh, let us know if you'd be interested in trying something on Carrot. We may even be able to um, give you uh, your first sats to spend on Carrot for free or help match your, uh, your first um, deposit onto Carrot. Uh, to make that a, a even more compelling reason for um, companies to try it out. Uh, but please uh, uh, let us know how you'd like to use it. You know, uh, We've only scratched the surface here of the different types of bounties and the different ideas um, that could actually be used for. So uh, let us know how you'd like to use it. 
Awesome. And where can people find you and learn more about you? Hey, we can't hear you. We lost your audio. All right, Tyler. Well, hey, let's just sign it off here, guys. Uh, you guys can find Tyler on Twitter at T Y L E V. So that's Tyl at Talv Talv, and then uh, I love. that is Tylev. Yes, and then uh, you can find me at C K underscore Snarks. Make sure to give Bitcoin Magazine YouTube a subscribe and Twitter a follow. Uh, and yeah, stay well, everyone, and uh, let's see you on the next one. Peace.